So the next topic that we are going to have a discussion is pivot transformation. So to represent that one, I have a table with a product name wise, year wise, amount to paid is there, like sales amount. If I want to perform a pivot on top of a product name or a year, you have a pivot transformation in the transform pivot column is there. So whenever you click on a pivot column, that column is going to perform a pivoting. Pivoting is nothing but the distinct values of that column will be taken and those values becomes a new column names. The distinct values of a column will be taken and those becomes a new column names for a table. Okay. And whenever it was generated as a new columns, what values to populate? You need to tell. Boss, take the values from this specific column. That is what it is asking. Okay. So whenever you said pivot column, it is asking you from where you need to take the values. You can take the values from a sales amount column. Now, what happened is from a year column, three distinct values are there. Those were those were taken and those were generated into new columns 14, 15 and 16. Three new columns were generated and the values are represented over here. For A, 14 how much, 15 how much, 16 how much, you no need to filter down the complete table. So that as I selected on a year, you got that one. If you select at a product name level, Again, it is asking you, boss, from where you want to take the values? I want to take the values from a sales amount column. Sales amount, click on OK. You can see from a product name, the distinct values are came into new column. The values are converted like this. This is what pivoting. And next, unpivoting. So once, so as part of pivoting, what was happened is, if you have a value like this, if you have a value like this, it became like AX and BX. Whenever you have a record like this, it converted like AX and it was converted like BX. So now, this is what pivoting we mentioned. Unpivoting is nothing but the AX, whatever you have available, that is going to convert back into AX. That's it. So now, I am performing a pivot operation based on a product name or based on a year. Pivot values. I converted based on the product name pivot operation was performed. The next one is, if you want to perform unpivot, unpivot, here, if you select a column here, and if you want to perform unpivot, what will happen is, this is A and X you can consider. Like you have A, X, Y, Z. What happens is, you are going to a new column called AX, bx new columns ax ay sorry ay and az so this is going to transform back so now let me perform unpivot column unpivot um, what happened is the 2017 was the column name right? 2017, like 2014 is a column name. 2014 A, 2014 B, 2014 C was displayed. That is what unpivot column. And the next one is unpivot other columns. Except this column, all other columns will be unpivoted. Which means what will happen? So product name A, product name B product name C. From here 2015, 6 and 7. 2017, 7 
and 8 these are the 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 records you are going to get so unpivot other columns means all other columns will be unpivoted so I'll select that one unpivot other columns we are able to see that so product name A, product name B, product name C 2015 6, 2015 7, 16 and 16 so you are able to see that all the columns except that column got unpivoted the value associated for that record is remains the same if you unpivot this one, if you revert this back this operation we said like uh, for A, B, C, 2014 we given the same value that's why the same value is getting displayed that is what unpivot other columns if you want you can perform a unpivot on only selected columns only these two columns I want to perform a unpivot only those two columns who are unpivoted and remaining as is those are the different options associated with pivot and unpivot so those are the options which are available unpivot column, unpivot other column, unpivot only selected column so this is what pivot and unpivot in a power BI. anyone has any questions about